Hey guys, it's Will from Break Designs again, and I've got another tutorial for you today. And it's quite an important one actually, because um, it's to do with the colour settings on Illustrator. Now, a lot of people have been asking me questions about um, their colour settings and sometimes what it means, but the biggest problem that people face is the black. Now, a lot of people don't understand about CMYK and RGB. Um, I'm going to go into them a little bit just now. So, I'm going to create a new document just like that and then on the right hand side here you'll see that I have CMYK written down here and this is what can make a colour and you can see this swatch here is changing depending on whether I'm moving my palette up or down uh, and what these actually mean is exactly what you're seeing there so these CMYK you can see here that these sort of lines um, represent the colour of what it actually is so if I turned the cyan or the C right up it turns into a cyan colour, literally a cyan colour, it's good at colour picker and that is literally the richest cyan colour you get and then you have M for magenta then you have Y for yellow and then you have K for what you think is black but it's not actually black and the problem that people have been having is that um, the black settings aren't working now with Illustrator it's a bit different to Photoshop uh, because we work mainly within CMYK so we can go to each of these swatches and every color is a technical swatch because it's vector graphics based and if you go to these swatches you'll see and hover over them you'll see a CMYK data value and what we can see here is if we just double click on the black that we see is that we have a hundred percent key and that looks fine and dandy uh, I need you to go into your illustrator settings and turn off something and it's quite useful to have so I'm going to go into uh, my illustrator preferences and settings by pressing command and K within here we have a load of um, sort of weird things going on but what we need to do is go right to the bottom and click on appearance of black now my uh, settings are different to yours because I've already set them yours um, will be displayed as display all as black all blacks as rich black now there's a difference between um, rich black and black. Black is a very dark grey and key which is black in the CMYK value is what is up um, on the swatches. And that's the only one there. So if I was to make an ellipse right now and because my data or my preferences here on appearance of black on screen are displaying all the blacks as rich black so they're displaying even the key black here which is actually dark grey as a rich black but what I'll show you is that this colour should change to a very light grey and you can see the example of rich black here and the example of 100k black which is 100k so it's 100 point or 100% of key so what we can see when I go and press from the on screen menu here to display all blacks accurately I press OK you'll see that the actual circle changed and that's because that's the actual colour that it will print out as a very uh, dark grey or a dark well, a dark grey. So I'm going to counteract this. So I'm going to knock this down and I'm going to create a new swatch. My new swatch, I'm just going to go into my swatches panel and I'm going to create a new swatch just like that. I'm going to call this one Rich Black. And then I'm going to go to the global button because I want to make it a global swatch. And the colour mode is CMYK. Now here's where the difference is. CMYK is the uh, the most common for print. RGB is um, sort of red, green, blue. HSB is hue, saturation and brightness. And the rest of these we don't need to know about. But HSB is something that we don't want to use because that will give us hue, saturation and brightness. Which is the easiest one to sort of configure for your colour. So it's RGB, red, green, blue. But print works with CMYK. Now we can see that that's a very dark grey, this um, sort of circle here. But you might be saying, oh, it looks black to me. Well, let me show you something here. I'm going to change my cyan, magenta, and uh, yellow um, sliders all up to 50%. And I'm going to press OK. You'll see that another swatch has been made, and it's a global swatch, so it has this sort of yellow or white triangle here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this circle over to here and I'm gonna change 
the fill. I'm just going to get rid of the stroke for now. But I'm going to change the fill of this one to the actual rich black. Now you can see the difference. So on the left hand side here, we have, um, if I just zoom in a bit, we have the uh, dark grey. And the colour for this is, well the colour coordinates is 100% key and 50% black so uh, sorry and a hundred sorry a hundred percent key and fifth uh, and none of these other sliders up but on this one we see that our is our sort of color is 50 percent on each as well and 100 percent up now the reason why printers work in black like this is because key is gray it's literally a gray and to make a black, you need a mix of all the other colours like uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and you need 100% key, so you need a whole grey. Um, printers work like this, so it's a good idea if you're doing print work like flyers or posters to have um, the rich black setting on and that you don't have this going on. You might see this as going like this, rich black, but the actual uh, grey here will be printed out just like that. Um, when you tell Illustrator or Photoshop even to print it out. So that is how you change the colour black or you change the settings to see your true colours within Illustrator. I thank you for watching. This has been Wolf of Break Designs. Go check out my website at www.breakdesigns.co.uk and leave more comments in the description saying what you want for your next tutorial. Thank you for watching and goodbye.